All right, yeah, well, here we are. We're in November. How's it going so far with the, with the mustache growing? It's going good. I just shaved, and now it's already growing back, so I can only imagine in a week or two what it's going to look like. we got to get Jose in on this, no? I'm trying to get everybody involved in it. Nobody wants to do it, though. But everybody said they're going to donate to the team and donate to um, to Movember, so, you know, they're still showing their support that way, though, too. On a basketball note, you guys are opening the Barclays Center. What are you anticipating on it with a brand-new opening in a brand-new city? I think it's going to be crazy. You know, the, the atmosphere is going to be nuts. Wow. Uh, we got to come in ready to play. You know, we don't want them to win in their, their home opener. We want want we want to go in there and win, and that's what we're preparing for, and that's our mentality. We don't care if it's their home opener, new gym. You know, at the end of the day, it's a basketball game. On a personal note, you could have a one-on-one -on -one situation with Darren Williams. What kind of challenge does that present a guy as big as physical as him? I mean, I've been playing basketball, you know, my whole life. We've been playing against each other since high school. So, you know, he's, he's, he's one of the top point guards in the league. You know, he just got to clutch down and step up to the challenge. And that's one thing I'm going to do. I, it doesn't matter how tall and how strong he is. I'm just going to go in there and, and play my game. The backup point guard, somebody that you're familiar with, C.J. Watson. Now, what, what does he bring to the team, and how important is it to have somebody like that behind Darren Williams? Very important. I mean, C.J. is steady. I mean, he's shown that the last two years, you know, playing behind Derek and uh, starting for us most of the time last year. He's a, he's, he's, he's one of the, I, I feel like he, he's an underrated PG in the league. I mean, he, that guy can flat out play. He knows the game of basketball. He's very smart, and um, that's a good pickup for for the Brooklyn Nets, you know, uh, when he went there. He gave him a solid backup. And also also gave him, like, Darren was to get hurt, you know, a knock on wood, hope nothing, you know, everybody stays healthy all year. But it gives him a person who has started a lot of games um, at a high level to come in and just pick up pick up the, uh, pick up the pace. The one thing about it. I mean, that's a, that's a tough backup. I mean, you know, Joe Johnson's proven himself all throughout his whole career in the NBA. I mean. You know, those two in the backcourt, it's, it's, it's going to be a duel. But at the end of the day, like I said, we're going to we, we don't have to clinch down and play. You know, we can't get caught up in that. We just got to go out there and play. Is it going to be a good experience for the team to go into an atmosphere like that where it is going to be so tight? I mean, yeah. I mean, but we got to go in. It's just a game. Yeah. You know, you got to go in there. It's a game of basketball. It's just like any other game. You know, it just you know it's going to be a lot of extra stuff going on that day, but you just got to be mentally tough. And when that, when that jump ball, when the ball's up in the air, it's time to go. It's one of those things where a really good start by you guys can kind of take the crowd out of it a bit, too, because a lot of times teams are going to be motivated by that crowd home opener, right? Absolutely. You know, we got to go in there and throw the first punch. We got to go in there and just suck the air off of them. And that's what we're going to do. I mean, we got to go in there and just leave everything on the court. Um, we know how it's going to be. We know the mentality. We know the atmosphere is going to be wild. We know there's going to be a lot of extra stuff going on. But at the end of the day, when it comes into the 48 minutes, it's basketball time. It's crunch time. It's time for us to just grit down and let's go to work. John, on a personal note, you came from a winning culture in Chicago. What do you think you can take away from what happened Wednesday, knowing this group is still learning how to win those games down the stretch? You know, I, I hate losing with a passion. You know, I, I don't care if it's by one, by 10, by 15, and 20. I just hate it. And it's a learn. It's, yes, we're learning, but at the end of the day, you know, coach. You know, went back, let us watch film and show how we lost the game. You know, we lost that game on our, ourselves. Like, we're, we're to blame because we had 10-point lead, a 12-point lead in the fourth quarter. And it's just something we we got to do as a team. We, when we had them lead, we got to stick to it. We got to see how we can add five points to that, and turn that five into 10 points, and just keep that lead going and don't let the team get any confidence back. And at the end of the day, you know, yes, we're young. But at it, we can't keep. We, we're not going to keep using that excuse all year. Something know? specifically you saw that needs to be changed? Uh, you know, it's just part of the game. You know, that team's been together. You know, any other patients, still no excuses. They've been that team's been with a couple of new guys. Has been the same team for the past two years. So you know, that team knows exactly what they do. We have a lot of new new faces here, new guys. Still, we're not learning the schemes. But it's just it's just a matter of us. Like I said in the fourth quarter locking down and just finishing the game out. You know, the game's 48 minutes. We can't play, you know, half of the game and think we're going to cruise through. Now we got to play all 48 to, that, to the buzzer go off. What's your favorite KD song? All of them. All of them. I'm a big whole fan. I mean, you can go in my, tape, in my CD day right now. I got probably every Jay-Z and all my CD thing. You know, that's one of my favorite rappers. But when I see him tomorrow, I ain't going to say nothing to him. <laughs> <laughs>